nails. I look absolutely horrendous, I apologize, but I am so tired. We did not get a lot of sleep last night. MJ had a really restless night. He doesn't really like sleeping in his um, travel car. Luckily, we have the world's biggest bed. So in the end, we just put him in with us. Please, God, we need sleep tonight because there is no way that Jay and I will function. He's gone off to work and I've escaped the house just to go to the shop and um, get some essentials in, some milk and stuff like that. It's nearly tea time and not a lot has happened today. I'm still extremely tired. So is MJ, I'll show you MJ in a sec. I'm feeling a little bit anxious because he hasn't typically had one of his episodes. So therefore they haven't managed to capture it on the monitor. So I'm kind of feeling like, has this been a waste of time? He's only got the monitor, the EEG, EEG on for another night, which is really good for him, but still leaves me feeling anxious because it's, we've literally got about 12 hours now for him to have an episode and if he doesn't then they won't capture it and then they will probably be none the wiser when it comes to analysing the results so he has his MRI scan on Thursday which is why the EEG is coming off early it was meant to go on and stay on all week um, I'm a little bit relieved I have to say that it's coming off early because um, it's proving difficult it's really difficult it's just difficult to do things like dress him um, he can't um, have a bath at the moment because it doesn't tolerate any water I've not been able to take him out because I'm just anxious that everybody will stare at him and I know that sounds silly but it's just added worry that I probably just don't need at the moment and um, it's not comfortable for him obviously and it's just a pain in the bum to be fair. Um, I'm finding it hard to do things like juggle the logistics of getting my other kids to school, to and from school and keeping the housework up to date and stuff like that. I'm just finding that a little bit hard um, and I've been up and down all day you know I mean I feel I feel good because MJ is slightly better than he was. He's had He's played a little bit today and he's eaten a little bit today, so that's good. But I still feel a bit like, Ugh. just so tired. I thought you don't want to be filmed. Give it up for the easy crew. Look, you're like Rasta Mouse with your dreadlocks today. Are you hungry? Yummy, yummy, gonna have some dinner. It's bedtime. Usually when MJ has his little episodes, he'll have them when he's really, really tired, like this. And it's it usually kind of happens when he's laying down. So I'm kind of thinking that this is the last chance that it might happen tonight. Um, we have to get him ready for bed, we have to put his jammies on. on jammies that have buttons down the front. These are a little bit creased. They've literally just come out of the tumble dryer. But because he has to have this on him all night and it's obviously pretty impossible to put on any other kind of tops and have it actually comfortable for him. So we're going to put this on while he reads all ready for bed. Man make fire. Women make pretty candles. <laughs> okay, so our babies have gone to bed and we are a little bit knackered. Um, they all seem to be sleeping quite well so far, Touchwood. Just wanted to quickly ask you because daddies don't get asked. How are you feeling? I'm okay. You alright? Yep, I felt very upset seeing MJ when I come home from work yesterday. 
something from the Matrix. But, um, you know, he, we're getting everything done now that needs to be done. And hopefully we can find out if it is epilepsy. We're getting the medication. Did you sleep much last night? Poor Jay wakes up at anything, so like even the littlest whimper, and he was like awake. Whereas I'm just like, Aww. I don't snore. I can't say that on camera. That's not the... Anyway, so we're gonna hit the sack soon. We're just gonna chill for what? a little while. Well, we're gonna hit the sack very soon, like a little bit soon. Not soon. Right, we're just going to... Nine o'clock at night. We're just going to sit here and argue for a little while. <laughs> and then... Um, oh, I don't want to go to bed. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, very, I'm not very tired. I can't put this on my video because people won't understand. That's how our three-year-old Leonardo speaks. It's not very dark. He takes after his dad to get it from his dad. Oh, I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for watching today and we will check in with you tomorrow when um, MJ finally gets his little um, monitors, wires, all that stuff off. So he he's going to look, he gets unplugged, yeah. So he's going to look more like our baby boy again, which will be really nice. And then we get prepared for the MRI scan. On Thursday. On Thursday, where that could be the... Hopefully. We've been Googling, or I've been Googling, and um, just to see how like effective the MRI scan is at diagnosing epilepsy, and fingers crossed, it might help. So if they don't get anything um, in the EEG, then they might get something in the MRI. Ugh, either way, fingers crossed. Anyway, thank you again for your lovely comments, and we'll check in with you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye.